The, you brought this up earlier, Steve, but the idea that memories are, each time they're taken out, they have to be put back in. Maybe, Dan, you might have mentioned. So one of the things we found, this was about 12 years ago, is that this had been sort of known for a long time, but it kind of forgotten and not paid much attention to until we did this actually in the brain. Um, what we did was we study rats. So we uh, made the rats afraid of a stimulus by giving them a sound that's paired with a shock, and then they express a fear response to the sound. Uh, but then we injected a drug into the brain that blocks protein synthesis. And we injected the protein synthesis blocker into the amygdala, which is where these memories are formed. And we knew from other studies that we'd done, if we block protein synthesis before learning, the animals don't form a long-term lasting memory. Um, but in this case, uh, Kareem Nader, who was a postdoc in my lab, asked the question, what would happen if we block protein synthesis after the retrieval of the memory? And when we did that uh, and tested the animals a couple of days later, they no longer were afraid of the stimulus. So why did that happen? Well, the idea is that each time you take a memory out, you have it becomes vulnerable. It gets changed in some way. It, uh, it becomes susceptible to change. Uh, it's now in a labile state. So what you then store at that point is the memory you then carry forward with. And the, um, um, basically the bottom line, and you know, we don't know if this happens for every kind of memory, some kinds of memory, all instances of memory. And there are lots of debates now about exactly under what conditions this applies. But the bottom line, if you take it to the most extreme example, would be uh, your, your memory is only as good as your last memory of a situation. But it sounds like you're saying that basically every memory we have is a fake memory to some degree. That may be true. It, it may be faked in a very small way that uh, is imperceptible and, and meaningless, or it could be fake in a very profound way.